A good friend of mine, uh, Dean Tufton, I've known him for a long time now, and I knew he was uh, raising and training some horses, and um, I had a, a really good old horse that I've had for 11 or 12 years. I knew he was kind of getting old a few years back, and I called Dean to see if he had anything ready, and he said he didn't, you know, he didn't quite have anything ready, but he had one they thought might be ready in a few years, and, and I went ahead and bought him and uh, kind of seasoned him along, and he's uh, coming 10 now. And Dean got a really good start on him, and uh, the horse is, uh, he's a perfect size and, and can run. He's really strong, stops hard, and uh, he just turned out to be a, an easy horse and, and has let me win a lot. Yeah, last year was a really good year. Uh, it was the first year I uh, had him on tour, and like I said, I rode him in about 95% of the rodeos, and um, I was kind of nervous to see how he'd take the NFR, the lights, and all the pressure, and he did really well. Uh, he ended up uh, tied for second and third with Patrick Smith's horse, and uh, the best guys vote on the horses, and um, that was a nice accomplishment he got. You know, it was great. Um, it, it makes you know that everybody else had noticed him and um, thought the same thing that I thought, and uh, it, it shows that um, other people like your horse, and when you got one of the best horses out here, it's a really tough business, and uh, you got to have a good horse to be at the top uh, at the end of the day.